all right guys uh, electronic search here and we're taking apart this lg tv um this is where we are gonna put all the screws we got our drill battery charger power cord for that uh tablet for watching a video of how to take this apart and new led strips right there so let's go ahead and pick this up again this fully works except the led strips so let me grab it out all right just put it face down I'm gonna grab a screwdriver no we're gonna use the drill we're, we're just gonna unscrew every single hole over here oh, we just need a little bit more um i don't know if this tv was already taken apart before i don't think it was does it mm -mm. all right so this is the very top so leave that right there. Then we take this, 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 and this. So let's go ahead and start. Except we gotta use the drill. So um, if you're wearing headphones, just be aware there's gonna be a lot of drill noises. So yeah, put your volume down a little bit more. But I am gonna be talking as well, so. Put your volume up when you see this but anyways yeah let's go ahead and start oh let me just give you the model there you go the models right there and day was made 2015 got a USB HDMI and then that's a code LG so yeah let's start magnet Alright, so we took off the plastic off the off the back of the TV and now we have the chassis and the motherboards and the power board, see everything, the speakers, power button, etc. Um now we're testing out the LED lights. And then, the new ones, the new ones. Then, we're going to take apart everything. Put the speakers aside because we don't need that. Just for the TV to work. So, now we're going to try and see if we could pull off the chassis. And take a look at the LED strips under there. And then we'll plug it in and see which ones are dead. To replace so here we go all right so I filmed the the motherboard and the LG display and the LG a driver board connector um that is all fine um and, oh there we go just need to get this red and green toolbox because in here there's a lot of good um screwdrivers for us to take out the chassis um i also need the voltage ch tester or multimeter um here it is um, uh, most of you guys remember, remember we were taking apart that Westinghouse TV. 
Remember that Westinghouse TV? The one that we failed on and had to throw it out. Kept the speakers. Alright, so let's go ahead and take this off. Upstairs and also get the voltage tester. Просто дуже сильно сикін. Гірисе блекін. Гірис блекін. Гірис блекін. Гірис блекін. Та ліпше стукати, коли... Бо всі їх не повділи. Окей, нічого не діється. Окей, давай тепер зробимо тест. So first one, one, two, one, one, two, three. Yeah, this one is not working. Was that good? He must not unbelieve. He must. All right, we might have figured out something. Um, the chat we uh, took a screwdriver and started slowly hitting the chassis uh, where the LED strips connect to, and uh, that did not help them, so they still flicker. Same thing, nothing changed. Then we put in a multimeter. One tested good, the other one tested bad. And now, um, I and my dad, both of us are doing this. We realized that it could not be the LED strips that are the problem. It could be the cords the cords that connect to the that go inside of the led strips that could probably be the problem because when we plugged in an led strip um the light started flickering a lighter then when we moved the other cord it went much kind of faster and darker so we're gonna try um, fishing around that cord 
and see if maybe the LED strips could light up straight without any problems. But we're still working on it, so let's go back. One thousand or so much. All right, so um, we we kind of failed, so we're gonna have to um give this to the. We're gonna have to. So we're gonna try searching up online on Google or whatever. Um, how much a repair would cost of how much the LED strips would cost. Um, uh, because we don't want to, like, burn the house down. I mean, it is a 2015 TV, so it won't cause that much damage. But as you can see, the 2005 or whatever Westing year, it was made Westinghouse TV. Um, yeah. So that went into the garbage, and, I mean, yep. So, we're gonna have to search up online and see how much a repair would cost. But now, let's go ahead and uh, put everything back apart. Put the plastic back back on. That was weird. And, uh, um, yeah. Plug it back in so that way you could still see that it is still flickering. And yeah, so I'm going to be uh, screwing it in. So here we go. Okay, we're back in the vacuum room. Not really. So let's go ahead and unplug the power. Set it right there. Grab the speakers. Um... Oh, wait a second. Are you kidding me, LG? Um, which way is it? It's... Come on, LG. You serious? Oh, yeah. Pretty sure it was like this, right? Um. There we go. I got it. I got it. Yep, I got it. 6Q. That's pretty good. Um, zoom out. Plug in this. Okay, it's plugged in. Alright, right speaker. Or actually, hold on. Isn't this supposed... To... I don't know. And also blow out the speakers a little bit just to get out some dust all right it's down plug this in all right insert this in all right so grab this put that right in there all right where's the drill the drill is right here Oh man, hold on. Actually, I decided to use this. Um, this was too strong, so um, it went out of my hands. Not flew out of my hands or something like that. Um, it is very tricky. You know, when you take apart a TV, the most easiest thing to do is taking it apart. But then when you reassemble it putting everything back and screwing in all the screws oh my god but yeah so we got the speakers and we got the power button in there you go now um anything else we need didn't forget anything no i think yeah everything's good um let me tra tape this back in ah <laughs> It's okay. Alright. Grab the plastic covering. Um, actually, I think I'm gonna wipe this down. Uh. Uh. What is it? 
twelve five five. I don't know what that means. Okay, but I'm I can't do this one handed, so Alright. Now we're just gonna insert this in. Just like that. Oh, this end is already in. I'm gonna get this one in. Uh, let me pick it up. Make sure the motherboard fits over here. All right, try to wiggle it right here. All right. And then this end is already in. All right, so let me pick this back up, kind of. Um, all right. Um, hold on. Oh my god. I got this end in, but now this end is getting out. Oh, 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 there we go. Got it in. Alright. Alright, so you could just press that down. Everything in here? Good? Yep. Alright. Screw time. We'll grab this, put that in there. All right, now I'm going to have to use the drill. <sighs> it just won't go in the hole. Oh, and now go and now it goes into the hole. Okay. Okay, next screw right here. Pretty sure these are the same, right? Yeah, these are the same. Okay. Screw this in a little bit. Okay, we're good. Alright. What the hell do you... Alright, let me see if I can use the drill for this part. Like you expected. No, it did not. Oh. Yep, I do not know how to use a drill, so... Gotta use a screwdriver. Well, okay. I, I mean, it's fine. Alright, I'm currently screwing in the last screw, of course, with a screwdriver and not a drill. So, oh, come on. Alright. There we go. Alright, now let's plug it in just to make sure we didn't fail anything. Everything is screwed in to place. Gonna plug it in. Oh, I hear electricity. Um, let's pick it up, see if it's flashing. Yep, it's flashing. Could see the LG cube. Okay, well, let's go uh, test the speakers to make sure we did not fail the speakers. No signal.